Hey, and welcome back to my channel. I am Diamond76, and I wanted to come on here um, for, for a few. Um, these are the two pictures that I did order, that I was telling you that I did order from Pinterest, but I really got them from uh, Etsy, and I did order three of them. These two were 11 by 14, and the other one is an 8 by 10. I originally got these two to go into these picture frames right here. These two picture frames are 50 by 50 centimeters, and what happened was when I went to go put these inside of this picture frame, they fit from the top to the bottom, but I had about this much that did not fit inside the matting that is inside that is inside of this frame. So what I had to do was think of a way um, to still use these two picture frames, but also still use these um, 11 by 14s that I had already ordered and I had already bought. So what I did was, okay, let me show you really quickly. This is the original frame that this picture was in and they're right here. Because I did have three of these, three of these, and I did have these in my office. So what I did was, um, in order for this picture to fit into this picture frame, I took the matting out, and then I put the extra matting inside of this picture frame right here, and. That solved that problem with that picture frame. Um, I think having two mats in here, I think that is perfectly okay. Um, and to me, I think it upped the wow factor of the picture in the picture frame. So what I did was I took the pictures that were originally meant to go into here and I put them in here. Now, the only problem that I had was that with this picture, these two pictures right here, they didn't cover about that much at the top or at the bottom or on the sides of the, of the, of the picture frame. Now, I could have just put the pictures in here and left that as that, but the only thing was is the back of the picture frame is brown and the picture that originally came inside of the picture frame was this right here and because of the color that wasn't going to be white and then when I flipped it over to put the picture behind this piece of paper right here you can still see the writing and the diagram at the bottom right here of the picture frame. So I had to figure out a way that I could cover the brown backing, but not use this either. So what I did was I went to Walmart and I bought a poster, a white poster. Now I could have gotten black, but I said, no, I went ahead and went with the white. And what I did was I used, because this is cut into like a T-shape. Because what I did was I took the uh, paper that originally came in that frame and used it as a guide. And I cut it out and I did both sides that way. And... Let me bring it back over here because I'm sitting on the floor. So I just use my makeup brushes because it's heavy enough. Put it on top. Um, didn't even have to trace it with the with an ink pen or anything or a pencil or anything. And what I did was I just cut up and then cut that and cut that way. And that's the reason why I have the T, which you already know the T shape right there and I put it inside of the picture frame and it gave me the backing um what I had left over at the bottom and on the sides and I think it came out really 
I think it came out really good. And I think by putting these in a black frame, it looked even better. And this one says, I can and I will. This one says, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And I think that was a quick, easy, inexpensive fix for these two uh these two picture frames now the other one that i do have coming in is an eight by ten so i'll have to see even if the eight by ten will even fit into uh this picture frame right here let me move it because okay i'll have to see if the eight by ten will even fit into this one if not maybe what i can do is add a another mat to this one just like i did this one um to see if it'll fit if not then what i may do is just take out the matting completely in this one and do it like i did this one and see how it will look with another piece of um uh, poster board uh, a poster board behind this one like I did this one but like I said it was an easy fix you can see the um, the little the, the poster board the, the whiting of the poster board right there and at the bottom right there but that's okay um it looks perfectly fine to me, but it was a cheap and expensive fix, and I just wanted to come on here just to show you the two uh, posters that, the two pictures that I did, that I did have made, and even though I had to adjust, it's more than fine. I love these pictures right here. Um, it represents um, everything that I love, which is fashion and design, and I just thought they were really cute, and I still wanted you know, to have them in my beauty room anyway. So it didn't matter which frame that they did go in, either this one or this one. Again, I want to thank you for watching my video. And I hope that this helps you just in case you uh, buy a picture frame and the picture is um, too small for the picture frame. Maybe the whatever color you choose in the poster board will help um you know will help you as well like like it just helped me again thank you for watching my video and again my name is diamond 76 and you have a good day